live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Oracle's modern marketing experience. Brought to you by Oracle. Now here's your host, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Oracle's modern marketing experience. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Peter Burris. Our next guest is Nick Cersei, the CMO of Western Union Business Solutions. Nick, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So Western Union, you guys do a lot of cross-border money transfer, a lot of stuff going on. I mean, businesses, you have a lot of legacy business, as they say. Digital is a big focus. Absolutely. You guys have a lot of history, obviously, everyone. Doesn't, and probably knows the story, Western Union goes back, huge generations, mm -hmm. and now this generation's digital. Absolutely. That's your job. Completely. Tell us, what's going on with your environment? Um, what are you doing here? What are you kicking the tires on? What are you guys doing to transform to capture that next wave? Completely, and the interesting part about Western Union overall is, uh, you know, we're a digital business at heart. We may be 165 years old, but uh, when, when we're known for cash money transfer, but every one of those transactions are digital, right? We're distributing technology to 500,000 agent locations around the globe. So number one, obviously we got, we're, we're global. Number two, we have great scale, over 500,000 locations. And number three, we do it fast. We do money in minutes with the consumer side. So when you look at kind of how does that adjacency or that core capability really help on the business solution side, we're really looking to leverage that. and and. You know, uh, when you when you look at how we are leveraging that, it's it's about moving to from a direct sales payment fulfillment um, capability to now being really tech first. So we, we've we've launched in April a financial technology platform called Edge. Edge is a new way in which we are connecting buyers and sellers, uh, empowering them with data and analytics and data visualization, and enabling growth because we can actually enable a near real-time payment across 22 currencies. So, that, so the that world is, is where flat, there's the book that talks about the global economy. That's mm -hmm. what we're living in. Is that a big part of the change for you guys too, is to have that global footprint? Mm -hmm. I mean, nope. we have offices in India. <laughs> I mean, people are operating, you know, even from small, one in the cloud companies, yeah. to full multinationals. That's right. And absolutely, the, 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 the concept of globality and globalization is growing, right? I mean, the things, the things that we know for certain, right, is that, um, SMEs, and that's that's really our prime focus, uh, are looking for places to grow. They're, the two biggest challenges are, how do I grow and how do I get access to, to capital? And then you move into cash management, right? And, and so what we try and do is as an SME is moving into a new market, provide them with the technology that allows them to connect as a buyer or a supplier in one single, uh, one single platform. So you guys are, as you said, you're 165 million years old, you certainly have an infant. <laughs> That'd be a million. really old one. <laughs> yeah, you're 165 <laughs> years uh, years old. Yeah. You are uh, an, a fundamentally an information company that has translated Absolutely. at least those elements have translated into digital. But you're kind of at this crossroads in that uh, the culture needs to change, and you're going to be part of the process of changing the world as the transaction costs associated with moving money around the globe mm -hmm. go down. You obviously want to be a part of that. You have a potential to have a dramatic impact socially Completely. on billions of people. Yes. We're not going to do those changes through traditional change management. We're going to do those changes through marketing. Yeah. So talk about how marketing, the role mm -hmm. that marketing is playing, not only as you help uh, Western, you know, uh, Western you change yeah. the culture, but also reach those new customers and encourage new behaviors. Completely. Yeah, and, and when you when you think about uh, the, the idea of global money movement, you know, we, we kind of have a core premise and, and, and I'll, I'll talk about it more broadly with Western Union and then when you move, I'll, I'll move to the B2B side. So we believe that when money moves, lives improve and economies get better, right? And that's at the core of what we do. And so on the economies get better side, obviously I'm not talking about consumer spending, I'm talking about business spending. And that's, that's at the core of what we do with Western Union Business Solutions. So when you think about marketing and how are we enabling that, how are, you know, what we have to get over first in order to enable that is letting the world know that actually Western Union does global business payments, right? There's a reappraisal of our brand that has to happen. So that's a big marketing challenge for me is to say, now how do we force a reappraisal? And it's actually a natural connection for businesses to make 
because when people think Western Union, they think global and they think money movement, but they have to be known. So we're, we're, we're actively trying to force that reappraisal in the market so they, at a they brand They don't level. think those new customers. They, they don't think business, right? They, they think very consumer. They think of, uh, of, of actually migrant cash oftentimes, and that's a big part on the consumer side that we're looking to change. But then when you move to the business side, just, just recognizing that, that we are actually the largest non-bank provider of cross-border business payments and that we are uh, uh, you know, someone that can provide that service is, is a big brand challenge. And then when you think about technology, which I'll answer your question, um, uh, you know, how do you begin to leverage technology to enable that? And, and that's a lot of why I'm, I'm here uh, this week is uh, you know, we, we partnered with, uh, with Oracle as a FinTech provider. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, as a marketing tech provider, and uh, that, that, that really enables us to look differently at our customer base. And what, what we've realized is understanding that customer at, at a true kind of analytical level, driving customer segmentation, and then building out a content strategy that enables us to speak to them when they are in a buying process at the right stage and, and, and with the right message is critical. And that's really the only way that we're going to get ahead of things and we're going to actually drive awareness of what it is that we do. So take, take me through kind of a use case, if you would. So uh, I'm a small business in, yeah. say, uh, Westchester, New York. Yep. Uh, and there's a new trend. Somebody pops, somebody's wearing something. Yeah. And new scarves. And I discovered that those scarves are actually manufactured someplace in... Ceylon, or Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, yeah. And I go to that supplier, I have a hard time putting together the partnership necessary to get this stuff. You're helping to facilitate that process by making it possible to set up trusted, bonded payments between those two parties so things actually Correct. happen, is that right? Yeah, and actually trying to connect their financial supply chain to there a certain go. extent. So we're taking that buyer in New York and that seller in Sri Lanka, and we're connecting them. We're connecting them in a way that allows the seller to actually post an invoice to the buyer because that's one of the biggest pain points between international payments is because payments are flowing through the banking system, right? And, and, and oftentimes lifting fees are being taken and what ends up in the Sri Lankan account in local currency is less than what the person who sent it from the U.S. expected. And, consult, and then reconciling that payment is a real challenge. So what we've done is we've taken this platform allowing in one consolidated kind of uh, relationship to connect that payment between the buyer and the seller. Full reconciliation details from procurement to payment and from order to cash, right? So that is really what, what we're enabling with the Edge platform. And then from a marketing perspective, uh, what, what, we're, what we're now beginning and able to do is actually fundamentally change the way we go to market, right? The way that we've gone to market historically has very much been a, you know, target a buyer, target an importer. And now what we're looking to do is create a platform that adds value to a business relationship, right? Trusted buyers and sellers. And when you're doing that, you're actually oftentimes looking at network value and bringing in an exporter who may not be actually where our economic or our economics are made or our monetization model drives us, but bringing them to the network, bringing them onto our platform drives a more incremental value. It's the, it's the old saying, right? The, the value of a network is only as valuable as the number of nodes on that network and exporters tend to have lots of nodes. So connecting those buyers and sellers and enabling them to actually participate on the platform in a way that actually we've integrated our marketing capability. So we are able to then automate to drive triggers on the customer transaction platform. So what do we want someone to do when they come on? Yeah. Exporter comes on, I want them to upload an invoice. I want them to begin invoicing on my platform, which is free, by the way, to the exporter. And uh, so as they start to, to do that, well, that's great. So now what we want you to do is we want you to open up a, a holding balance, a payment account. So that's our next trigger. Well, let's, let's have you do that. Because you know what you get when you do that? You get a real-time payment that's fully reconciled. So we've built in automated marketing capabilities within the platform that's all about what is the behavior that that customer, um, a new customer type for us is displaying, and now how are we driving activity um, to actually warrant a better relationship. Awesome, well, appreciate Nick for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate it, and uh, great to hear your stories. Look yeah. forward to do more with Cerise with Western Union CMO, this is theCUBE.